Okay, I'm trying to figure out what is this. At first, you know, I saw the fence. So, my New York self thought it was a park, right? So, it's going to walk up in there. It's some kind of factory. And uh, it stink like rubber. I, I don't know what that is. But, I'm trying to find a park or something, you know? Um, I'm on, um, I think this is you. Some other play, I think I came off of Avenue S. Um, from what I understand, they're changing the names around here. They're trying to build up. But here, look at this. Check this out. Look at these palm trees. Aren't they gorgeous? It's just beautiful, y'all. You know, right, one of my mistakes that I made, because I'm not a drive. That's why everybody's like, do you drive? When I came out here, so I should have rented a car. But I don't want to pay all that money, but now I'm stuck. And, you know, I'm on foot, but that's kind of, that's kind of good for me, you know. Because I need to walk anyway, get the stress off. Stop being under a lot of stress. But anyhow, I'm trying to figure out what this place is. And I'm going to be nosy. Because this is, you know, this could have been a park somewhere. I don't know. They have, Florida, they have weird laws and, you know, they just do things different. You know, I'm, I'm just used to New York, but my New York self is about to turn back around. Because all I see is the gas station on the corner. I don't see no park. So, um, I'm, I think I'm going to call it a day for now unless something else crazy happens. I'm going to try to record it. Other than that, I'm just going to, you know, just uh, go back. They they got flying. Oh, wait. That's what I meant to say because I see something flying. It could be a roach. Okay, I just want to tell you all this quick and funny story, okay? I was in, in my bed, you know, my dad's house. I was chilling. Um, I had just got in back from seeing my sisters for the first time. It was lovely. You know, I'm gonna see them again today. But anyway. Hi, how you doing? How are you? I'm doing good. I I I'm I'm been how are you? <laughs> I don't shake hands, I don't know you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you they're super friendly out here. <laughs> they're real friendly. But anyway um I saw this um Oh, there's a bus. Oh, there's a bus. Maybe I can catch it somewhere. Oh, man, now I got to wait. I just missed it. Okay, anyway. Let me go back to my story. Um, so, I, you know, it's like, whoa. It was like, I think it was like 4 or 5, 5 in the morning because my dad had to get up a little bit before 5. So it was like 4 or something. You know what I keep hearing is this. You know, kind of thing. So, oh yeah, I can't walk over there. I gotta turn back around. So, I keep hearing this, shh, 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 you know. So I'm like, what is that? And then I realized I felt something in the room. So I thought it was like a rat or maybe a mouse or something. So, you know, I'm just like sitting there, kind of first, kind of scared, but then not, because if it's a mouse, you know, we have this, uh, you know. That's, that's common, you know. I don't I don't have mice in my room, but, you know, it's common. It happens, you know. I'm not scared of them. So I was going to get up and go and look because I kept hearing this again. And I was like, oh, no. Can I walk over here? Yeah, no, I can't. This looks like a freeway, so I'm going to turn my New York self. So I'm going to turn right back around. So I get up. And then as I'm lifting up, I see on my father's closet, okay, a darn big old roach, like, y'all, like, no lie, like, this big, okay, it's not only, like, this big, <laughs> but it, was, it, it, it didn't crawl off, okay, it didn't crawl off the, off the thing, off the, off the, oh gosh, can't even think right now, I'm, like, freaking out right now, didn't crawl off of the closet door, it flew off. Good night. What did you do that for? I didn't scream because I know everybody was sleeping. I didn't want to wake up my father. I didn't want to wake up my aunt or my grandfather. I didn't want to wake anybody. So I'm sitting there and I'm like terrified. I'm just 
baby. Oh gosh, I just I'm, I'm still I'm still scared about it. I was just petrol, okay? I was I was terrified. I was I was paralyzed from the terror, okay? I'm sitting there with my covers like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think it's cool. It leaped off, it went somewhere on the floor. I was like, oh my gosh, my bag's down there. And uh, oh gosh, oh, I can keep keep hearing them going shh, shh, with the wings and stuff. Uh, I was freaking out, right? So then, finally, my father gets up. I'm a grown woman, okay? Grown behind woman. You think that I would get up and kill it? Heck no! I wasn't gonna do that. I'm gonna kill that thing. That thing's so big I couldn't even step on it. So I was sitting there, I was like, and then he came into the room. I was like, dead, 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 get that, get that. He was like, what? And I was like, this is a big roach. This is a big flying roach. I, I can't get it. I can't get it. He was like, okay. He was like, I don't see it. where'd it go. I was like, oh my gosh, it's in my bag. The only thing that I could see in my mind was me opening up my bag. Opening up my bag and the thing crawling out or flying out and trying to hit me in my face. I was so terrified. So then later on, my father told me, not too long after, because he went back out out there to the living room and he saw it and he killed it. And I was so happy and I could go back to sleep. But he kept teasing me. He's like, I know you can't go back to sleep. I said, I could go to sleep now. It's dead. Well, I couldn't go to sleep before, but that's my little bug story. Yes, my encounters with a big old flying roach. I mean, I've seen big roaches like that in the city, but they're crawling, you know. This was flying. I, <laughs> Lord help me, it was flying in a house and big. That's the only thing about Florida. I don't like the flying roaches, but other than that, it seems chill. The people are nice, they're cool, you know, friendly. You know, it's, it's all right. Um, I'm going to show you guys more stuff, so I'm going to get off now. Um, I'll probably retell the story because I messed it up and I really don't have a good editor. So, peace out again with much love, and I'll be back.